MongoDB video series. In this video series, uh, we are going to discuss about how to insert document in MongoDB. Right. So first of all, you need to create a database and then collection. And within that collection, you can uh, do very first thing is insert. Right. Insert is really important. And unless you do not insert data uh, into MongoDB, you can't uh, perform any kind of uh, basically uh, other operation like select, delete. Uh, or any other operation right or maybe aggregate operation as well so let's try to understand what all methods or apis are provided by mongodb to insert document into collection yeah so what if very first method i would like to talk about the insert method right to insert one or many documents into mongodb collection you need you can use this method insert method right so just you need to do here i have taken a screenshot you need to give the db first of all you need to connect to the db and then collection name and then you may use insert and there you can pass either single json object or multiple json object right if you insert single json object then it will return uh, once data is inserted successfully it will return as acknowledged true and inserted ids right so inserted ids you can see as we have uh, inserted only one object in first case so it is it, it has a return object id and zero right similarly if you insert more than one documents as i have shown in the screenshot in second case right i'm trying to insert two documents right so again it is saying that acknowledge true and inserted id here you can see that will give you in the ins basically all all the object ids are basically uh, uh, probably uh, 12 bytes of a longer uh, unique uh, basically object id will be returned and here you can see uh, uh, whenever you see inserted IDs, then it is showing in the increasing order 0, 1. Let's say if you uh, insert third one, then 2, 3, something like that. And uh, after you can see the unique object ID is there, right? Now, next method is called insert one. So whenever you want to insert a single document, right? Then uh, of course, using the insert, you can either insert a single or multiple documents right so probably you might be th thinking hey why insert one is needed then then probably uh, insert method maybe uh currently i'm I, 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 i'm going to use uh, basically mongodb6 probably insert maybe uh deprecated or will be removed from the uh, basically future version of mongodb so that's why uh, insert one is recommended recommended to basically insert one document so if you have a requirement to insert one document then simply you can insert one you can use and there you need to pass one json object as a document right and return would be very much similar uh, how we had uh, seen return type uh, uh, while inserting single document using insert right similarly let's say if you want to insert many documents so mongodb has provided a separate api or method for that so that is insert many and insert many of course it, it takes array of basically json object right so here you can see i'm trying to insert three json object and it has written acknowledged as true and all the inserted ids object id uh, basically these are always unique got written and look at the sequential order right zero one two something like that right so we have inserted three so g it is started from the zero then one then two and all the objects are ids are unique one so now uh, let's let's uh, try to understand this thing through uh, an example right so here is the mongodb cell so i'm going to open mongodb cell and there let's try to practice this or whatever we have discussed in the slide so i have connected with the mongodb and here uh, let me uh, create first of all database so I say use my test, right? So my test database created and we switch to the my test database. Now let's, uh, I'm going to do db dot, let's say user db is nothing but the database, currently is my test. Users is nothing but the collection, right? So here, so just we have created uh, basically this database. So there, 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 uh, there, there will not be any basically collection so what you can db dot users users uh, would be the collection so if collection is not there then it will be created automatically and i'm going to do insert right that's the first method we discuss and here i'm going to specify the single json document right so it's a name name let's say 
okay, okay. colon oh, sorry, sorry comma and let's say age i'm going to specify as let's say 30 and let's say city city oh let's say delhi You need to close this JSON object and finally uh, uh, closing parenthesis for method. And once you press enter, then here you can see acknowledge true and it has insert it has uh, basically turned inserted IDs. So in this case, only one document, so only one unique ID is got returned and it stands with a zero, right? So that's how basically insert method works. Now let's talk about how how we can insert more than one documents using insert method only and uh, and what it it basically returns so of course uh, when you want to insert uh, more than one document then of course you need to pass array of objects so of course array means you have to start with uh, this sign right and let's say name i'm going to change let's say p let's say pk and each let's say 31 and city i'm going to keep as it is and now I'm going to add basically another JSON documents, probably let's say name. Okay. And uh, let's say age, age is let's say 45. And in MongoDB, right, it's not need, right, like uh, basically RDBMS unit. You need not need to specify all the documents in the consistent manner right so in this document we have a name age and city but next document i can specify only two attributes right a name and age that will work right and of course you can give the third document as well right so here you can pass the array of documents and array should be closed and once you press enter and here you can see all uh, these documents got inserted saying acknowledge true and id is here you can see so one two if you would have a third then it will give two three something like that right and unique object id got written so that's how basically uh using insert method you can insert either one or many documents right what about now next method so next method i'm going to so next method we discuss on the slide that insert one right so pretty much it works as a insert uh, itself but here you need to specify only one document right you can't uh, uh, pass more than one document right and if you if, if you press enter then here you can see uh, so as method name is insert one so that's why acknowledge true and it is saying insert inserted id it's not inserted ids so in inserts insert method right it was saying that inserted ids right here just insert id because insert one is basically used to insert a single document right and similarly you can use insert many right and there you can pass array of object so insert many right let's say make let me make some change right and if i press enter and here you can see uh, again uh, so insert menus right so it is authorized to basically insert right it is used to insert more than one document right and uh, that's why you have to provide the array right so pretty much it, it return uh, return value returned or uh, data type returned uh, value is or uh, returned or uh, basically result is uh, pretty much similar to the insert when we pass the array of document right so here also you can see acknowledge true and inserted ids got returned right so that's how basically you can insert a single or many documents uh, inside the mongodb collection right so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorials guys so thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe kk java tutorials <music>